Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little maintenance on the uh, Kubota BX. The engine oil is due to be changed and I'm overdue on the front axle uh, gear oil. So we'll get the, uh, get the engine oil drained, get the oil filter swapped out, and then we'll drain and refill the, the front axle also. Um, I've pulled the motor deck off. Um, it needs, it's just due to grease. Um, I might swap the blades out. I gotta take a look at those, um, but it's off. And then also the fuel filter is due to be changed, but I thought I had one um, on my shelf, but I do not. So I got one on order. So I'll probably end up doing a separate video on that because it's gonna be uh, probably four or five days till that comes in. It is raining outside. Hopefully, hopefully that's not too loud on the video. You, know, you can hear in the background on the on the metal roof so uh, it's a good day to get some some maintenance like this done we got the oil draining on the front axle i have it jacked up for now just to just to make it easy to get in there but once once the majority of the oil drains out i'll i'll let it down just so there's no excess in the back back of those hubs but this is the left side as you're sitting on the seat after it drains i'll come over here and get what's left in the in the right side I have the axle tilted slightly, so everything in the axle tube should be should be coming out. But obviously, some will sit there in the bottom of that spindle or hub or whatever you call it. So I just finished draining the left side of the front axle, or basically the axle tube in the left side. Um, and as you can see, I use this this old coffee can um, to drain into because it fits under there nicely. But it's whatever size that is, two pound, twelve and a half ounces, and. There's enough room, but there's not a ton of extra. So if you count what I spilled and put it in there, it would have been pretty full. So if you're doing this, make sure you have something that'll catch at least that much. I'll see when I refill it how much how much I put back in. I forget off the top of my head what capacity is. Getting the left side drained. There's actually a little bit more in there than I expected. Oh, about 150 or so hours, maybe 160, I can't remember exactly, but over the recommended change interval, I just somehow lost track of it on my the spreadsheet I have, and I believe it's supposed to be changed at 400, and I'm at 550, 560, um, but the oil actually looks, looks very clean, um, so I don't like going over on intervals like that, but I'm happy to see the oil looks so good. So the left side of the front axle, um, that yellow cap, right here um, that is the the fill port and the um, it's a there's a dipstick attached to that cap it's the oil level check for the front axle um, one thing i've noticed on on this bx and on the my Kubota l series is you have to once you fill the front axle with oil uh, with gear oil you must you have to check it quite a few times after that because i just i guess it uh, going side to side and filling the hubs and everything seems like it's it's low a couple times after you fill. Just something to keep in mind. Um, I've checked it once now um, and added added a little bit more, probably a quarter of a quart maybe or so. Um, but I'll be I'll be checking it again. Um, just working on some side hills and getting that getting that oil to flow side to side in that front axle. Just don't fill it once and think it's going to be good because it, it definitely will be low afterwards. The only grease irk I know of on this tractor, and I'll double check the manual, um, but is the one for the HST pedal. And it's right here. There's a little flap in the in the rubber mat, and then the grease circuit is inside here, straight down in. They usually give it about three or four pumps of grease. Work the pedal a little bit, and I'll give it one more. I'm gonna grease the motor deck too, but I've already done a video on that, so. We won't cover that again. I didn't record draining the engine oil, but as you can see here, right underneath, right behind the front axle, um, you can see the oil pan, you can see the drain plug there. I pulled the motor deck off just to make it easy to get to, but I drained the engine oil out, and then we'll, we'll get the oil engine oil filter change here in a few minutes. Since I don't have a loader on this tractor, there's, or a loader uh, control, hydraulic control valve, there's, there's really nothing in the way to get to the oil filter. Um, I just swapped this out. See the oil filter there. Um, without a loader, like I said, it's just, it's real easy. You can reach right in there and grab it, spin it out. 
Um, I need to get a shorter pan, drain pan. The bucket I have doesn't fit underneath the drive shaft, so I ended up spilling a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Thanks everyone for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, just going through a little bit of maintenance on the tractor. Um, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, I'll do another, I'll probably do another real short video on swapping out the fuel filter. Um, I did change, I uh, eliminated the first factory filter. It's underneath the tractor and went to a to an aftermarket filter. Um, it's just, it's a much better filter. It's easier to get to, uh, but I'll, I'll put all that in the next video. Um, so, like I said, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like and the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.